I want to show you how I've been using Descript to edit videos quicker. Descript uses AI and takes a different approach to video editing. On the left here, we're going to see more of a document style editor. When I record my screen, which I'm doing right now, I have a pause or a stop button. I'm going to go through a video talk, say a lot of ums, and notice how it's already cut five seconds from where I was thinking or looking at something. I'm not a very good speaker. I used to cut out a lot of these things and reword sentences and re-say stuff to try to sound a little bit better on YouTube. The script makes this process effortless. Now up at the top, I just recorded this video on summarize tech. I can come here and I can shorten the word gaps and I can instantly shorten my gaps to 0.2 seconds. That's what I like to do. Go ahead and apply it all. And I could also remove filler words. So these words like, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply all there as well. Now it's pretty much ready. Three, four minutes was a lot of blank wasted time. I can then come up to the top and I can just edit this like a document editor. If I want to do captions, I can come in here and I can write it. Go ahead and correct that. And then I can highlight, come up here to the text, and I can add captions. Then I can click the caption. I can give it a border because notice the text was white. It was on a white background. Change the color to anything that I want. And I can even come down and I can go with karaoke style, where maybe I want to highlight a color as I talk. And I could highlight all the text at once and do it, or I could just add the captions on the beginning. I can change the font here. I can also add fonts to the drive if you have a specific font that you like to use. I might start this video with just the text. So let's turn down the opacity by clicking the scene of the video. We turn it down. We went way too big there. So let's make sure that it fits. Here, I can add another scene by the dash. Let's add another scene. I'm going to click this scene here, and we're going to zoom in so that we can really see exactly what it's doing. Now, once it pops in, and like here, I want to go back out. So I'll click this scene here. It's really drag and drop simple as far as navigating. And then I can go back out. There's where I misspoke. I can just delete this sentence. I don't want to say so. I say so a lot. Notice there's a little bit of a gap there. It doesn't sound 100%. Down on my timeline, it's because there's an awkward space. So I can just drag it down there. And then we're going to just go in like a document editor and we're going to delete. And again, another sentence for this scene, and I'm going to make it bigger so that we can see. You can also come up here to layout if you prefer adjusting your layout more like that. I don't think we need me to read more of what I talked about, so I'll just delete. There's a little bit of extra pause there, so I'm going to remove that. This feels like a good place to add captions. I just highlight, come up here, add my captions. We'll delete out the period there. Here, we're going to see it's Dan Co. And this is fluff, so we'll just delete. I have a three minute, 40 second video. I can go back through it one last time. But what I love about the script, other than the easy captions and all of that, is I can turn on studio sound and it makes my voice sound so much better. You're not going to be able to really see it on this video, but if I just click this one click, it removes background noise and does some really impressive stuff. It's much better than what I used to do. I can also add stock video clips if I wanted. Like maybe at the end, I want to come up here I can come in here to video and I could go with like a funny video and we could end it with something that's a little bit lighthearted. Maybe we also wanted to throw up, you know, a thumbs up, something like that. We can add stickers there. This is pretty much the tool as I'm currently using it. Now up at the top, we do have images. We have GIFs, GIFs, stickers, backgrounds. If you want backgrounds, there's a lot to it. And I will be making at some point a better overall video. They have a built-in stock music library, which is decent enough. It's not like the most epic music ever, the most current or trending, but it works for a lot of videos. And then they have built-in sound effects, which is really nice. Recording is rather simple. You can do audio only, camera or screen. I believe this tool might've started in the podcast space but they have title, subtitle, plain text, captions, and you can even draw things. You can put your progress bar on your video if you wanted to give a progress bar. You can just drag it over the length of your video. It's very popular on social media. There's so much in this tool. Here's a wave form. Maybe we wanted to come in and we could add our wave form just like that. So that's really cool. We can delete it by simply selecting it and clicking delete. 
Back up at the top, we can do arrows, lines, a lot of different stuff like that. It isn't smooth to me at zooming and doing a lot of that stuff. I haven't learned how to do that, like screen flow, which is what I used last year. The templates let you do annotations if you want, you know, these more animated things. You can do vertical video. You can do frames. Again, all different types. If you want like a frame video to show video content from a phone, you can do your audiograms, which is great for podcasts, stuff like that. They have multi-cam, intros for your videos, titles, pretty much anything you would need to get started with video. I wanted to show you how I'm currently using it. I'm not using all of that stuff quite yet. Hopefully I'll integrate more and more as I learn. But right now I just simply go through the document editor, lets me create content rather fast and uh, play around with the fancy captions. Do you like when there's captions all the way through the video at the bottom of the video? I know some people love to turn on the closed captions. They like it all the way through, but that can be distracting for others. So there is always the YouTube feature where you can turn it on. That is something that I want to explore a little bit more in 2023. My name is Scott with AI Profits. Hopefully this video brought you some value. Give it a like if it did. I do have an affiliate link down in the description for Descript. I appreciate it if you click that link. Otherwise, I hope you're having a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next one.